26, 27, and I talk to you about what I really came here to talk about. I'm speaking to you about intimacy. Amen. Yeah? Amen. But intimacy is a deep thing, guys. It's not shallow, eh? as you may think. That's why some of you, you can look at a boyfriend and you think that's the one. Or a girlfriend and you think that's the one. Only and only when God has helped you to tap into the depth, you'll know who is the one. That's why when you come in such meetings, eh, launch deeper. Launch deeper so that you can hear things that are echoing from eternity, that are echoing from a certain depth. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. Eh? I told you, I knew my wife is supposed to be my wife. Yeah? But there were some people who were eyeing me and praying for me. Being prophetic, I could know them. So, one day I asked God, why her and not them? Yeah? Just, I just wanted to know. So, that night I sleep and I'm in this flat, a skyscraper, but it has a go down, many flats, and up. Okay? Then I see one of these girls trying to please me down, but they are pleasing me, but I can't hear the sound because I'm so far. Then as I'm down, down, down the flat, they are trying to please me, but I can't hear the voice. I can see them, but I can't hear the voice. Then the Lord told me, the level of depth I dug in you and I put in you, only her can move with you. Many of them that you're seeing we reach a certain time and they pause and they will disturb you. But the time he's telling me that I'm busy telling my wife you're going to prophesy one day and she's busy arguing with me. <laughs> because she can't see that but God has told me. You understand? Amen. For her she can't see that me I've seen a certain level of depth in her that she can't see now. You understand intimacy? Intimacy <laughs> is something that you can only connect with deep calleth on to deep. Mm. Amen? Amen? That's why I told you that some of you <laughs> you need to be out to walk in a pure lifestyle. Eh? I've told you <laughs> some of you you'll go and watch pornography huh? and a demon of lust takes you over. Yeah. Hmm? And like-minded people will be attracted to you. Like-minded, yes. Eh? Mm. Some of them can even rush you and you do the wedding chap chap. Chap. Yeah? But after you're there, you realize, ah, now that I'm a married woman, I can't continue living that life. Let me try Switch. to be better. Mm. Then one day you come in church and we chase out that demon of lust. Then you go back <laughs> to the husband for whom the demon is still there, and they can't understand you. Because the woman they married, they are saying, you've changed. That pastor is changing, you understand? Eh? But, it is because <laughs> you did not understand that there was a depth to you that you just couldn't go with just someone who is just attracted to your flesh. Okay? There is a depth to certain people that today they are souls, they are persecuting people. But tomorrow they are poles. You understand? Mm. And only a man of intimacy can understand this. Only a man of intimacy can understand that ah, there is something about this meeting. It seems simple, but as we go on, eh, these are rare gems. Mm. I need to partake of them. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Eh? So, God help me. Amen. You see, even when I have a lot of things to talk about, sometimes I'm hesitant because I have to wait on the Lord to quicken me with something so that I know that's the direction. So, today, in the morning, I was caught up in heaven. And as I was in heaven, I was in a familiar place. Okay? It's an organization. It's the marriage supper of the Lamb. Okay? So I'm there. But this time I decided to stay a little bit longer. So I'm looking at the tables. I'm looking at the, what would be like uh, the coverings, 
They look so nice. There is this golden glow to them. It's almost floral and all that. Then I'm looking at the servings. Yeah? I'm looking at the servings. So I'm wondering, hmm, let me get a snippet of what this day will be like. Yeah? So I'm thinking, on that day, we are going to have some of the best meals we can have because I love food. I'm a foodie in my good time when I'm, on, I'm not fasting. Yeah? So I say, ha, huh, I think... This will look like one of my best dishes, my best meals, eh? when it's really a nice meal. Yeah? To my surprise, yeah, we're on this table. <laughs> we are feeding on the Lord. We are drinking on the Lord. We had stuff, but it is in your Bible anyway. And it's so sweet. Eh? But there was something about this meal eh? that could catch you in trances eh? and dimensions where you start to live some of the most joyous moments of the Lord. Am I communicating things well? Eh? Some of the moments that have happened before creation ever was as we know it on earth. And sometimes I could be shocked at what I'm feeling. And I'm showing you degrees in intimacy. You understand? You know that feeling of the morning sun in the morning? Eh? It is usually warm and it's nice on the body. Yeah? Now I'm caught up in these dimensions. And the sun is warming my legs. Mm. Yeah? Mm. But all of a sudden, my legs disappear. And they take on the form of the sun. I'm communicating things that seem hard, but they are so easy. Because I've told you, this is my job. Me, I make hard things simple. Simple. One of the greatest degrees of intimacy eh, is not when you are attracted about something beautiful. Uh -uh. It is when you leave it or when you become it. These things are possible in heaven. Hallelujah. Let me give you an example. In heaven, you will not just be attracted about the liberty that birds have. All of a sudden, you can be the bird mm. and you feel what the bird feels. That, one that when you're communicating with the bird now, mm. you do not need words to communicate. Sometimes they want to communicate to you about something and they're like, mm, but you were, you were me the other time. So you know what I'm saying. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? That one, one of the greatest levels that God will do to you, you will enter and for a moment you are God. <laughs> you understand? Eh? Mm. And he's not just explaining to you how he loves you. For a moment, you are love. You know what it means to be love. <laughs> you see, that's why picture Jesus is saying, I've communicated to you three things. You've not believed me. When I start to communicate heavenly things, will you believe? Eh? These things of heaven are hard to communicate. Eh? I'm telling you. You, you, you are not just attracted to a lion. Uh -uh. Do you know the things that are on earth? There is a way the glory was turned down. Eh? Yes. That's why creation is groaning. Groaning. Back to that glory. Mm. It was made subject to futility. Yes. Not willingly, mm. but in hope. In hope. Mm. You understand? Mm. The one who subjected them, yes. subjected them in hope. If you meet a true lion in its glory, eh? many of you would leave Jesus <laughs> and you start an idol worship of a lion. Hey. If you meet a true tree mm. in its glory and its fruit, mm. you see these things in India, they are worshiping trees. You think these yeah. things are just idol? No. They are similitudes of these things. Mm. You've not seen anything. So there is a revival coming. Hallelujah. But I'm trying to communicate to you. Me, I don't communicate smaller conversations. I have broader conversation. This revival is going to be revival on trees, revival on the animals, revival on to the people, revival on many things. Even the minerals that had hidden away from the earth, they shall run back on top. Amen. I'm telling you. And when we enter into the new heaven and the new earth, that earth will be rich. 
will be full of glory and we enter into the millennial reign of Christ. 